Hey everybody, how's it going? So I just wanted to give you a quick update on Repair Wiki. This is hosted by my nonprofit, Repair Preservation Group. My goal here is to get experts in the fields of repair for many different devices to take their expertise and then post it for free so that end users, do-it-yourself repair people, or anybody that wants to fix their own stuff can get involved, can have a greater understanding of how their products work, and use that knowledge to be able to repair their own devices or just kind of learn how to get better at electronics repair. So we have a guide for the iPhone 7 that I showed you all recently where it, this is just highly detailed troubleshooting information on how to repair an iPhone 7 if it is not powering on or boot looping or not charging or anything like that. When it comes to things like uh, audio IC, it goes over the specific pads and specific traces that will wind up being a problem with jumper solutions. It's really, really well done. Well, there's also now one for the iPhone 8 that is just, again, insanely well done. And we are going to have guides for the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and all of that added soon. The iPhone guides need a little bit more filling in, but we have people working on that. Some of you have also asked about graphics card repair. Now, I don't really know much about graphics card repair. It's something I could learn, but it's not really something that I am an expert in. But the, I was able to retain an expert in graphics card repair to contribute to this as well. This is a Pascal GPU diagnosing guide, and he just goes over just a bunch of the different parts of the card, basic Volta rails, uh, Volta rails, powering on the card, and then he goes over how to troubleshoot specific rails if you're not getting them. So for instance, let's say the 5 volt rail, he goes over the controller circuit over here, no voltage, short, no power good signal, and how you would troubleshoot all these different things, and he goes over the specific troubleshooting steps for different rails on various popular graphics cards. Now this is not complete yet, there's still a lot more to go. You can see that these pages are done, and there's still some pages here that are red, like the BIOS troubleshooting and memory testing, but we are working on getting all of that filled in. And if you go to the MacBook section of the wiki, you'll notice that the MacBook section of the wiki before for some of the newer models was missing some important information. However, now the, that section is actually starting to get filled in with a lot of the information that will make it easier to troubleshoot those particular models. For some of the newer MacBook Airs, it was kind of empty and sparse. And as you can see now with contributions from people like Tim Herman, this is just absolutely beautiful. It's just filled in with a bunch of detailed troubleshooting information. And I look forward to working with experts within the repair community to figure out what are devices that where there's a really high demand for repair information, what is lacking, who are the experts in those particular fields, and how can we go about retaining them to provide this information to the public in a fashion like this. Again, I haven't been focusing much on board repair videos anymore because I've done about 620 or 650 board repair videos, not including all the old unlisted live streams that I have, which is probably about another 100 or 200. And I'll be honest with you, um, doing the same thing for seven years in a row, it gets old. Uh, but this is a way that I can create troubleshooting material that I think is a little bit more useful to people who want to fix their own device. A 40-minute video or a bunch of 40-minute videos that you have to trek through to try to figure out how to troubleshoot a particular problem, that's one thing. But the ability to just have a format like this where you have the problem on the left and the potential things causing it and how to fix it on the right is much more browsable. I think this is a lot easier to browse than the YouTube videos that I have. So this is where I'm putting most of my effort in these days. It's not, you know, many of you are asking, what about the border pair videos? I have a lot of them and they, you know, I've just, I've done over 600 of them. I really think I've kind of played out the border pair video angle there, but this is a great way to centrally put all the information where it's really easy to find so that it's easier for people to be able to troubleshoot their devices. This is this, this is where I'm putting a lot of my work now into this repair wiki. This is uh, fairly well funded at this point in time and I am looking forward to engaging with more members of the repair community so that we can post more stuff to this that is useful. And remember, rule one, the only rule of repair.wiki that matters, don't ask if you can post just do it. Don't ask if you allow posts for medical equipment. Don't ask if you allow posts for, I don't know, this thing about a car. Don't ask if we allow information on how to fix a toaster. Just post it. If you're spending time asking me or emailing me or leaving a comment saying, Lewis, can I make a page? That's time that you could have spent 
make it a page. And that page may help somebody somewhere. So do, con do consider contributing. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video.